Hi, my name is Rich and I'm bringing today's pattern. Uh, something about me, my favourite book of the Bible is Ephesians, if you're allowed a favourite book. So when we were in Ephesians and I was asked to do a pattern, I leapt at the chance. And today we're looking at Genesis 15, uh, which is a great book. Um, Genesis as a whole. Um, but something, especially listening to patterns by Kath and Tom, uh, something I always thought of as well, which kind of comes back, is that Genesis raises a load of questions. It answers a lot, but it raises a lot. And this here is talking about God promising Abraham a son and descendants more than the number of stars there are in the sky. Um, at a point when he thought that time in his life was far, far gone, over. And what I think of is, is why Abraham? And uh, there's something... Becca said in her pattern when talking about Abraham as well, is that God doesn't necessarily call the qualified. Um, but what I think of with Abraham is I always think about his dad. Um, the Bible makes a point of saying that he set out to Canaan. Um, but he never got there, so we don't know why. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think it's a mistake. It's in there. And uh, God speaks to Abraham. And tells him to go to Canaan. Abraham gets there. And the rest, as they say, is history. Abraham's now the father of nations. And uh, the father of faith. Uh, the first to do it, really. Because um, he believes God in this chapter. And it's funny, because God talks to him about these descendants. And Abraham's like, well, how do I know I will inherit it? And God says, sit down, son. Let me tell you. <laughs> Paraphrasing. It's going to be hard. There's going to be hard times ahead. And I think even when he was getting to, Abr to, getting to Canaan, there were hard times in that. So Abraham recognised the fact um, that there are sometimes struggles in doing um, what God calls you to do. But his, re his results far greater than anything. You know, Abraham wanted a son and he got so much more. But today... I just ask you, what is God asking you today? Is he just asking you to take a walk? Maybe it is just taking a walk. Maybe it is no small thing. But maybe you are someone that, you know, you've heard God speaking and you feel like times are hard now. Well, they're probably supposed to be. So you take courage. But hold on to what God told you to do. Because when he next speaks to you, it could change your life forever. Thank you for your time.